What's up, you guys? Welcome to Workshop Weekly, Episode 4. Uh, we got a little bit jumbled up last week, and I was not able to film, uh, so we are a little bit delayed this week. Uh, it's going to be a little different, so we're going to have a video today. Today is Friday, January 31st. Uh, we are going to skip Sunday because of Super Bowl Sunday, and we're going to do a video on Monday, the February 3rd. Uh, the thing is, um, next week's video will probably have a lot of the new February tool promos coming out. I'll highlight a little bit of that. Uh, but for the time being, we're just going to go over a couple things I got here. I got a lot of tool announcements between the two. Uh, you'll probably see some stuff on Instagram. Some of that I will address for next week's video. Uh, but let's just get started with some tool news. Husqvarna has a new battery-operated backpack blower. Um, it's IPX4 rated. The model on that is 55 zero i btx it's pretty cool uh, not sure the voltage on their battery line uh, but it looks to be pretty powerful dewalt also has a 12 volt compact reciprocating saw very similar to the hacksaw the milwaukee hacksaw uh, it's going to be a brushless unit but it looks that it's going to be a lot smaller than the milwaukee m12 fuel uh, really excited to get my hands on that once that comes out uh, it's going to be coming out within the next couple months uh, Milwaukee, once again, they're hitting it hard. Uh, they have the new dual trigger bandsaw that's in their M18 line. I believe it is a fuel uh, model on that is going to be 2829. If you get a bear tool, it's going to be a dash 20. Bear tool price is going to be $279. It's going to be available in February within the next couple weeks. One thing that they're really showing off, it has an optional pipe reamer that's $34. It fits onto the drive wheel of the bandsaw. Um, but one of the skeptics that I really have on that is if trying to hold the bandsaw and then the pipe, so you really have to have that pipe clamped down in order to ream that properly. Um, you know, you're trying to balance a spinning blade in one hand and a pipe in the other. I don't know. It's pretty cool to have, but you definitely want to have that pipe anchored down. Uh, last episode, uh, I talked about Makita's new cordless work lights. I was mistaken. I said there's a 36-volt model. It's actually an 18-volt model, um, but they're also going to have an, um, a two-battery light that's around 10,000 lumens, I want to say, uh, but that's still 18 volts, so it's a sequential battery. So once it drains the first battery, it goes into the second pack. Ryobi, they have a new 18-volt 1 plus 1-gallon fertilizer or seed spreader. Uh, I think it was going to be around 50, 60 bucks. Pretty cool if you're trying to spread some grass seed or spot some fertilizer. Uh, Ryobi is really cool for these niche tools that they come out with. The very random stuff that a lot of the bigger companies, um, your pro brands, don't come out with. <clears throat> Makita has an 18-volt inflator coming out. Uh, I've seen some pictures of it overseas. Uh, not sure if it's going to hit us in the United States. They also they have the 12-volt inflator out now, uh, but a lot of people aren't in that 12-volt CXT platform. Uh, so it'll be good for 18-volt guys to get into that. Bosch has a new impact wrench coming out. You guys ready? Uh, GDS18V-221. It's an impact wrench. I think half inch is going to be the chuck on it. It's going to have their ABR technology, which is their auto bolt release. So for revert, that's probably going to be just like the Makita for the reversal mode. Uh, once it stops torquing, the machine shuts off, so you don't just keep spinning, 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 spinning. Really nice to have. So um, that's all I have for this week on the tool news. Uh, next week, I have a lot of cool stuff. Uh, DeWalt has some stuff. Makita's really hitting it hard with some groundbreaking, uh, with a groundbreaking saw. Um, if you look today, Travis, the tools by design, posted on it today. Uh, but I haven't seen a lot about that, so we'll hit that. Stay tuned for Monday. I see I'm keeping you linked. Um, so some new shop items I have right in front of me here. Uh, this I found on Amazon for $20. This is the Markall Pro. It's just like the Pika dry marker or the, um, the Haltifers dry marker. Cool thing about this, the red cap unscrews, and that's the sharpener. It clicks. You can load it through here. They have two, uh, two other colors from the basic graphite. You can get it in yellow and red. Uh, like I said, it's on Amazon, about $20. Bucks. Mostly metal construction, which is really cool. Like the peak on the Haltifers has a lot of plastic on it. Also, this contraption, uh, this is called the, I don't even remember the brand of that. I'll have to post on it. The Marker Lock, it says it right here. This is about 20 bucks on Amazon. 
It's $15 plus shipping. Um, it's a stand for your markers, okay? This is, they have two. They have one that fits the Milwaukee ink saws and they have one that fits the uh, Sharpies. It's got a magnet on the base so you can stick it on something and a nice strong marker or a nice strong magnet so you can pull your markers off. Fits six markers. Um, how it works is this top, there's a button here. You push that and it releases it. So you put your markers in here and then once you get that ready to go, you, you line the tabs up like so. Pop that in and you have your marker holder. Really cool. Um, I'll pull some links for these in the video description below. Uh, like I said, this is not sold by Amazon itself, so you don't get the prime shipping. It was $15 plus $5 shipping. This is prime shipping for $20. Bucks. Another thing I did, uh, I can't remember if I talked about it or not, but this is the Makita subcompact drill. Uh, I did a chuck swap on that, so be on the lookout. Uh, so we're going to be, I'm going to show you guys how to do a chuck swap to make a quick connect instead of having your half-inch drill chuck. Uh, my feature product of the week... This is the Helcalon Clear. It's a clear varnish by Total Boat. Um, I've actually been using it on a couple shop bench projects. It's a really rugged clear coat. Uh, it does pretty good on no matter what you do if you're doing more finishing pieces. Don't recommend it for like big tabletops and stuff like that. Uh, but for just sealing like a piece of wood around the shop, it's a really rugged varnish. Total Bolt does a lot of marine stuff, uh, but they also do epoxies and whatnot. So it's a really good company. Check this stuff out. I like the bag that unscrews on the bag. What I do, it's so thick, I pour it right on the wood surface, and then I take a sponge brush and spread it out. So this week, our tool of the week, um, it's going to be presented by my buddy Mike from Oz Tool Talk uh, from the land down under in Australia. So uh, take it away, Mike, with the Bosch X-Lock Grinder. G'day Jimbo, thanks very much mate. Um, really excited to be sitting here with Bosch's X-Lock Grinder. Uh, really good that you reached out at this time because we've just received this. Um, the X-Lock, let's not muck around, let's get straight onto it. Um, pull that up, bang, your disc drops off. Get your new accessory, push it straight on. Now, what I'm not going to say is be one of those idiots that goes, oh, you know, let's do a comparison and have a spanner in the flange nut and it gets locked and you lose the spanner. It's not that hard to use a spanner and a standard flange nut. What I would say is for safety with wire wheels uh, and flap discs maybe and grinding wheels, I reckon it's an absolute cracker that these are absolutely 100% locked in place. If I just drop that off, have a look at this system here. If I just hit the trigger, centrifugal force will flick that out um, if you haven't already uh, clicked a blade on and activated it. But just watch this. There it is there, so it clicks in, all right? So if I try and get my disc now, and hopefully I can show you. Oh, oh, you scumbag. There we go, she's just clicked in there. Look, I think it's really cool um, that we're going down the Starlock um, direction with all these accessories. I think they lock on sensationally. Uh, one thing that I did notice, Travis from Tools by Design, uh, if you've got it running, you will not be able to accidentally drop off your accessory. Now I know I don't have anything on there at the moment. Once it's running, you can't be in a gnarly little corner or something like that. Don't worry about it catching and actually releasing your disc. It cannot happen. Um, so look, I think this is really cool. This is uh, 4,500 to 9,000 RPM. You've got some presets here. This is a Bluetooth unit. Uh, they're not gonna be cheap, the X-Lock units at all, but there's five or six brands coming on board, I believe. Uh, the really cool thing with that, having multiple people coming on board, is that all of these sorts of accessories, all this system, it's going to help the competition bringing the price of this down. So I, I believe in Australia they said about 20% more expensive on all the accessories to, compared to standard, whatever standard means. But they reckon about 20% more. Uh, the only thing that I want to question, and this is not a dig, get open your dog, this is not a dig at Bosch themselves, but... Cut-off wheels. Everybody talks about cut-off wheels and which one's the best. And some people go through a lot of cut-off wheels. Do Bosch have the best cut-off wheel? I personally don't believe so. Uh, I've never gone to Bosch for a cut-off wheel uh, as, as my go-to. So that's my only question. You can't take this X-Lock bit off and use a standard disc on, which why would you buy the X-Lock and do that anyway? But I'm not sure about that. 
Um, I want to see some of the big abrasive brands getting on board with this. I think they will, but my goodness, what a nightmare for uh, store owners. Anyway, Bosch x lock I really like it. I hope you like my idea on it. Uh, Jimbo, get on to a full review of this, mate. You need to get one of these in your hands. You will dead set. Wet your pants, son. Thanks very much. Alrighty, so thanks, Mike. That's a really cool feature to have. Uh, on one of our previous episodes, we talked about the Makita's coming out with the x lock grinder. There's going to be a total of five manufacturers um, in the whole thing. My prediction is, so we got Bosch, we got Makita. We'll probably see Fine, Metabo, and um, either Hikoki or what we in the States call Metabo HPT, formerly Hitachi. So um, going on to deals, I just have a couple quick for you. Remember, today's the last day of January, so all the January promos are going to be ending with the free Milwaukee M1260, uh, the free 8.0 on the M18s. Uh, DeWalt had a couple Bear Tool promos. I think it was like $30 off. Uh, Bear Tool, a certain DeWalt 20-volt max tools. Um, so today's your last day to get on, though. But there are some good ones coming in February. Um, Milwaukee's going to actually have a buy more and save more promotion. Uh, you save 30 bucks on 380 on 400 and 150 on 500 and over. Uh, looks like Makita's also going to be having a good $20 off promo coming up. So stay tuned for that on next week's video. Uh, one company I want to talk about is Festool. FestoolRecon.com. Guys, go on there, put your email address in, and subscribe to the list. What it does is they do a limited run of reconditioned tools at a discount price, so you don't pay full retail on those. Um, I picked up a couple of my Festools from that site. Uh, they come in really good condition. They are reconditioned tools, but they are at a significantly lower uh, price than the full retail value. So that's FestoolRecon.com. Uh, Max Tools running a $99 sale. Um, so they got a lot of decent buys on there for 100 bucks. Home Depot, um, they have a Makita 12-volt max drill and impact driver combination. Uh, but the thing is, this is their brushed entry-level line to the CXT world. Uh, but normally, you got the 1.5 batteries, you got a bag. Uh, but they redesigned the brushed drill and impact. So you're going to get the updated, smaller drill and impact. Um, it's more the style of the brushless ones, but it's still brushed. You're going to get the 2.0 batteries. You get two of them. So they'll set the fuel gauge on them. And it comes in a nice metal case. So uh, the price on that is $102.99 on Home Depot's website. Talked a little bit about February promotions. Um, they are actually active on Home Depot's site right now with the Milwaukee Buy More, Save More. Uh, so go over there and check it out. Not a bad deal if you've got a big purchase to do. So that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thanks, Mike, for Moz Tool Talk for joining us. Uh, really cool grinder, really cool technology that's going to be coming out. And stay tuned in a couple days. We'll have another episode of Workshop Weekly. We'll have episode five. Thanks for watching, guys.